All right, it's been a long time since I made a video. Actually, um, actually I don't remember the last time. I know that my last upload was actually a promotional video for my brother and my friend's uh, band. They had some concerts coming up, so that's why there's that random upload a couple weeks ago now, I guess. Uh, next upload is actually going to be a music video that, well, music slash concert video that I recorded for them for their last concert, which was this last Sunday. Friday? Saturday? This last Saturday. So that will be going up as soon as they okay the video going up. But uh, besides that, I kind of wanted to just throw this little off the cuff, no script, which is typically how I guess I do my videos, but uh, no script. Just kind of talking about some things that I learned when I was recording that concert video for them. So first things first, I went the route of using a A or N and a and b camera so i had my well it's really my wife's canon m50 mark one we don't have a mark two we just have the mark one and this kind of cheap mic that i bought for it and that was my a cam where i was going around in the video uh, during the concert getting some close-up shots of them um, just different angle shots of the band members and then i had the b camera set up in the back which was just going to be the steady cam that i can go to whenever i needed to move across the uh, concert area because i can't getting like really shaky camera over behind people's heads not, doesn't really make for a great video so switch to the B cam when I am moving around switch to the A cam when I'm in position trying to get some shots of the band members so some things that I learned uh, Canon M50 works great during those shots especially with this lens that I'm using right here the Sigma 16 uh, 1.4 it, it, it was fantastic especially because in those like indoor concert settings they typically tend to not have very much light so having a 1.4 lens that's a wide area so i can catch more of the band members in a single frame was great but the downside that i have well anybody has for the canon m50 is yes it can record in 4k but you lose autofocus and that pretty much makes 4K unusable in most situations. Like it's not even really worth mentioning that the Canon M50 can shoot in 4K for the most part. But it is 4K 30, you lose autofocus, and it's like a, it's a huge crop, it's like 1.7 or something. I, I don't really know, remember the exact numbers, I'll kind of plug it in whenever I look it up, but uh, the crop is insane, lose autofocus, but for the concert, I made it work for me because uh, in a concert setting, I guess depending on the concert setting, typically camera people can't really get that close to the band members. And so in this case, I wanted the crop factor of 4K at 30. Well, I think I recorded 4K at 24 frames per second. And so it worked in my favor at that point, but I still had to deal with the loss of autofocus and also canon m50 doesn't have any ibis like in body stabilization so i had to use the enhanced stabilization which uh it worked pretty well it wasn't perfect by any means there were some moments in my recording where it just got like really jelloey juddery it was just unusable footage but being that we lose autofocus in 4K, I switched it over to manual focus. So the Sigma luckily has, you know, the little manual focusing ring on it. So I was able to use that to my advantage. It is very tough to try to get manual focus on moving subjects, like two moving subjects, essentially myself and the band members. So you really have to get down the muscle memory of manual focusing on the subjects and that can be tough but uh, in this case for a band concert music video kind of style worked in my favor because I was trying to get more of like a old school I don't know if, the, if grungy is the right word to use for it but more of an old school music video kind of feel where you know sometimes they'll have like focusing in and out of their subjects or you know whatever kind of dirty filmmaking style it was like back then so I was trying to go for that style I was able to do it I will say though having that B cam really saved the music videos life so for the B cam I used my wife's iPhone 13 
and uh, I should I wish I didn't record it in HDR because think about uh, iPhone HDR definitely going to be different than standard definition of a Canon M50 I believe there is like some sort of way you can get the Canon M50 to record in HDR but I haven't really looked into it and it only records in 8 bits so I'm not really going to get that much from it I think so next time I've learned that uh, if I'm going to use an iPhone as a B cam and I'm using Canon M50 without HDR probably switch off the HDR on the iPhone but in any case the audio on the iPhone 13 was insane like, it was so good I used my dedicated mic uh, I thought I was going to use my dedicated mics audio for the entire video because I figured the dedicated mic might be better than the iPhone but it turned out in this case the dedicated mic just like crashed and burned it, it sounded awful versus the iPhone 13's audio, which was like, I couldn't believe the iPhone got that kind of audio from recording, it was insane. But uh, yeah, the iPhone 13 really saved the video, and this is why <laughs> my message for you would be to, if you're going to record any kind of music video, try to have, like, really strive for having a B cam with a different audio setup and use like two different audio setups. That way you can choose, pick and choose which one of the two you'd rather use because it could turn out that one of them is a lot better than the other. So that's what I learned. Uh, iPhone 13's footage was pretty good. You could definitely tell there was like a little bit of noise, a little bit grainy there in a the low light setting, but you can't expect a whole lot from a cell phone camera sensor. But man, I was, very impressed about the quality that I got from the Canon M50, especially in 4K using manual focus and I guess it would be electronic image stabilization. I was impressed by what I could get. There were times when it got really messy and I couldn't use the footage at all, but uh, for the most part, man, the, the quality was just there. I was very impressed with what you can actually get out of just a, like a starter camera, like a, a, what is it, $500 camera right now? or you can get the Mark II for like 650 right now, you can really do some really good video work with these cameras. It's going to be tough, it's going to be harder without IBIS, without 10-bit, uh, without HDR, without um, autofocus and 4K, and the crop factor, it's, it's tough, but it is doable. And I feel like recording this concert definitely showed that it is doable and that yes, I, you know, people on the internet will say different things about like how gear matters and to me personally, I really do think that gear does matter when it comes to professional work, but I also feel like the capabilities of the person behind a camera is also extremely important. Like I'm sure if someone more advanced, more, uh, you know, better with filmmaking, if they had this Canon 50, they would have put out like amazing work compared to what I did but I feel like with my level with what I have right now it came out really well but I did learn like some tips if you are going to do this with the Canon M50 like some kind of concert music video if you're going to use enhanced image stabilization the electronic stuff instead what I try to do is I try to have the camera kind of faced out like pushed out and use the neck strap against my neck to kind of stabilize it wasn't the best choice to do. It really made the camera, the, the footage like really jittery and shaky. It just wasn't as good as if you were to bring the camera close to your body like this and record it. I don't know, it's just something about locking your arms into yourself and recording close to your body made the image way more stabilized and easier to control. That would be my suggestion to you, if you, especially if you don't have something like a gimbal or something, which I did not have really wish I did. Maybe I'll get one at some point, but keeping the camera close to your body really gives you really good stabilization for your video. And it's a lot easier to control, makes it a lot less jittery when you are trying to move it around because you can move your whole body with it. Instead of just trying to move your arms, especially with me, I have like shaky hands, shaky arms. So like trying to move it with your hands, like out here versus here with your body, do it with your body. Another thing I would suggest, if you're going to use a mic on your camera, Get a really good mic get something like a road or something like a little more expensive i think i spent like 25 dollars on this mic 
and it fell apart. Also, if you if you have like a newer iPhone, I don't know how my 12 would have done, but if you have like a 13 in any kind of way, try to use that as your main source of audio if you can't afford at the moment a nicer mic or can't like if you don't have a nicer mic or can't rent one try to use an iphone like a newer iphone because the audio you can get from those phones is just incredible especially compared to what you can get from your internal mics on your camera or a cheap dedicated mic also if you can get a gimbal try to do that and uh, try you know kind of practice with the manual focus if you're going to use 4k and uh, get a wide angle lens if you're going to use the 4k on the Canon M50 because of that crop factor the 16 mil was just spectacular and I guess on another side note kind of going back to the electronic image stabilization that also adds another crop factor to your video so if you're using 4k with the enhanced image stabilization it's going to be a huge crop in so uh, be prepared for that get a wide angle lens if you can sigma 16 it was like four 400 bucks well worth it this is like my favorite lens i think i have in my kit right now uh, be prepared for that uh, don't forget your settings uh, i use auto white balance i didn't change it i probably should have on a canon but it, it still turned out great so i'm not complaining about the auto in this case but i think next time i might play around with the white balance a little bit more but uh yeah this is this is just my quick video of what it was like to shoot with a Canon and the iPhone 13 for a music video concert. I think it turned out great. The band members were extremely happy with the quality that came from using the Canon M50 and the iPhone 13. It turned out great. Editing was a little tough because, you know, syncing up the, the footage with the audio because I had the iPhone 13 as my main footage for the video because it had the best audio and it was my B cam that was just going to stay there and so I just you know, snipped up the Canon's footage in between and you know lining them up with the audio from the 13 was tough. Uh, one thing that I would suggest doing that made it easier for me is to try to line up the if, if they're at least if you're recording like a, a rock band and they have a drum set player there try to match up the hits of like the I forget what they're called but whatever the the metal ones are I can't I can't remember I used to be in a band I don't know why I can't remember uh, not the snare, it's the snare. I can't remember, but um, try to match up the hits of the drumstick with whatever drum set equipment that the drum set player is hitting. Uh, that's a good way to line up your video and your audio. As soon as the stick hits, you should hear the audio at the same time, or as close to the same time as you possibly can. Trying to sync it up based based on the lips is really tough, based on the fingers is really tough, like if they're playing guitar or something, unless you have played guitar or sing and you know how to sync that up. For me, because I played drums in school, it was easier for me to sync up the drumsticks hitting and getting the sound to match together. So try to find points in the videos to match up the audio and the actions of the band members that'll make it a lot easier to you know sync up your video with the audio but yeah that's just my uh quick take the canon 50 man it was it really worked a lot better than, than i thought it would especially with the crops and the manual focus and the electronic image stabilization it worked so well iphone 13 the audio was just superb i mean i just i just i'm still in disbelief that the iphone was able to get that kind of audio like <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty sure I said this already, but my wife's iPhone, like, it really saved a video for me. It really did. I don't know what I would have done without that audio. So if all you have is an iPhone, use it because the image quality you get from it is going to be great, especially if it's your only camera. Recording HDR is actually not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, it's just for me, trying to do edits with an HDR video and a non-HDR video was a little tough. Couldn't get the colors to match up that well, especially being colorblind. But if you're just using an iPhone 13, you can definitely get away with it. The image you can get when you're closer up to the subjects, I'm sure will be phenomenal. I used it further back, so the image did kind of degrade a little bit because of the low light and the smaller sensor, but uh, it's still usable for sure. The audio, you can't go wrong with that audio. That audio is just gonna win you 
every day of the week. The audio is superb. iPhone, Canon M50, if you're just starting off, you can definitely do it. You can definitely do it. Not sure how much money you'll be able to make from it. I'm just making some cheeseburgers off of this because I'm doing it for fun right now to get the experience. I was seriously impressed with this camera. I'm pretty sure one of the Canon M50 that came out in 2017, I think, something like that. And I actually don't think I've done any updates on it. I'm pretty sure there are some firmware updates that I need to put on there. But you know, besides all that, Canon M50, great starter camera. You can do a lot with it. It's gonna take practice. It's gonna take the right lens, but you can do it. Anyways, just, I'm gonna be done with this rambling video. I'm out, peace.